Hi guys, so in this tutorial I want to show you how I use my light painting overlays, which are these. And I've put the link to my digital store below if you'd like to check them out. So this was an image that I took recently at one of our workshops, Sealed Lips with Enchanted Evermore. And this is pretty much my done edit. But I want to try adding a light painting overlay just to finish off and add a bit of texture and interest and light and colour. If it's interesting to you, then this is where I started. So that was my camera image that's not had any editing. As you can see, I had my softbox here, so I needed to get rid of that. This end of the bed, I needed to get rid of that, my pole, the bottom of the softbox. I also didn't know what to do with the radiator. Originally I had it in because I quite like the gold, but I hated this bit and it just, it just looks a bit out of place. So I ended up taking the radiator out completely. I also found this a little bit distracting. I did think about moving it, but in the end I didn't because I just didn't know where to put it if I took it away. So I went with that, but it does slightly annoy me. That bit of the dress was annoying, so I fixed that. And then I just played a lot. So I played a lot with shapes in my image, liquify, expansion, and then I did a lot of colour grading because I just wanted to get away from that yellow gold. I wanted to get a more of a sort of sophisticated, interesting colour grade to this image. So I did spend a lot of time playing with colour. By the way, guys, I do now have a full editing course out where I show my core editing process step by step. So if you'd like to edit in the way I do, I'll be showing you step by step how to do it in that course. So I'll put the link to that as well below. And if you've got any questions, do contact me on social media, RR Photographic. So I'm pretty happy with this and I've got it to a point where I like it, but I just want to try a light overlay. I know a lot of photographers use texture in their images, but I've never really got on with texture and I rarely ever use the texture. But I suppose I use my light painting overlays just as a final touch to add essentially a bit of texture, a bit of interest in the background. So this one is ballet shoes. So what I'm gonna do is just pull this across. Now I'm going to change the blending mode to screen. So straight away I'm going to bring the opacity down a little bit. Then I can kind of see more what I'm doing and it's a bit more subtle. I like to use these light painting overlays in a really really subtle way. I used to use them strong but now I just prefer them to be barely noticeable. I also like to add a hue and saturation layer. So I add hue and saturation and I just clip it. So that clips it to that layer. So that means whatever we do to this is only affecting the overlay, it's not affecting our background image. And now what I can do, I can play with the lightness and the hue. So I like to bring the lightness down with these. Again, it just makes it more subtle and then play with the hue so I can go to a kind of greyish blue if I want or I can go completely different you know I can really just play around here I can also play with the saturation if I want I can try making it more saturated that's kind of interesting <laughs> there's honestly there's just so much you can do with this and this is why I really enjoy using these another little trick you can do you have to come back onto your actual layer this is the light painting layer is you can use the blur. So filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Now do you see the effect that has? So if we've got no blur, it's we've, we can see the sharp line. But if we add a blur, then it just makes it much more subtle. It's just kind of a light overlay then. And it just looks like a sort of ray of light. And that's another way that I like to use these, just really, really subtly. I don't know what I prefer here. I do quite like the line because I just like the shape it creates. And I use these a lot to kind of bring my viewer's eye into my model to see how much that's framing her. And I like that, I think it really works. Another thing you can do is create a mask. We need a black brush on a white mask. Then bring the opacity down 
and I'm going to resize my brush and I can just take out sort of the, the really harsh edge a little bit. So that's another way to do it. If you don't want to do the blur, you can just soften that harsh edge. And then if you want to play around with the hue again, you can just double click to open it again. I really don't know what I like with this, this image. This is why editing takes me so long, because I just play and play and play around and I can never work out what I like best. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you prefer. I like the yellow, but I also like the kind of greyish colour. Maybe I'll save both and then see what I like best tomorrow when I look at it. I think the pink's too much. But then again, maybe with the saturation down, maybe I like the pink. Oh, decisions, decisions. I quite like that. I like that overall better, but I like the yellow. I find that more interesting up there. I think I'm probably going to go with that one. But don't hold me to that. We'll see which one I eventually publish. <laughs> so that's how I use my light overlays, guys. If you want to check them out, I'll put the link below. There's all sorts. They come in all different colours. And they're really, really versatile. As you can see, you can play a lot with them. And you can have them as subtle or as strong as you like. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. And see you next time.